please like and subscribe. Lisa Fernandez is known as one of the greats of our game, probably one of the greatest of all time to ever play our game. She's in the Hall of Fame. And I like to remind my girls a story about Lisa Fernandez and the theme or the moral of the story is no excuses. So it starts out that she would go out before she would practice when she was younger and she would run five miles before she would even set foot on the softball field to practice. And the reason is because she wanted to make sure that she was dead dog tired when she was practicing because she wanted to be there for when her team needed her the most, which is in the championship game, which is never the first game of the day. If you get knocked into the loser's bracket, it could be the third or even the fifth game of the day. So she made sure that she was tired by running a lot, working her endurance and making sure that she was ready for the championship game, which is that game that everybody remembers that pitcher, not really the first pitcher of the day, right? They don't remember that one. They only remember the last pitcher in the championship game. And she wanted to be that girl. After that, she would pick up the worst softball, go to the worst field, pretend like she had the worst umpire, hardest hitter up to bat, worst time of the day, heat of the day, or pitching in rain, no lightning though. And she would set herself up for success in that she believed in this model of no excuses. So she would make her practices really hard, really intense, and then it would come to game day and it would be like a breath of fresh air. Like, I got this, yay, today is easy, because it's game day, because her practices were so intensely hard. So she would go through her routine, and I don't ever recommend to throw this many pitches, but she wouldn't even call it a practice unless she threw 300 to 500 reps, which back then, and remember, I'm old enough that I looked up to her as a kid, and so the way that our mentality was back then was throw as many reps as possible. The more you practice, the better you're gonna be. We didn't really understand the concept of overuse because there was this myth going around that there was no such thing as overuse because underhand was such a more natural motion than overhand. She would throw her 300 to 500 reps. She would end doing the long toss. She would work on that long toss for speed, and she said that she knew that she was throwing 70 miles an hour when she would stand back at center field fence, hurl it in all the way home, and then make it there in the air. And there's actually a mathematical equation showing that that is actually true, and it's something to the fact of, and if you know the exact formula, you can write it down in the comments, but. I believe that it's something like if you throw a long toss and you get it all the way there in the air from 100 feet all the way to the catcher home and it's 100 feet, that should be 50 miles an hour. And then I believe every five feet back after that is another mile an hour. So anyway, that equation somehow comes out to be true because I believe center field fence is around 220. So if you're at 220, hurling it all the way in home and you get it there without bouncing, that equals 74 miles an hour. Sure enough, she was in the low 70s when she was in college. I like to remind my girls that because it's very motivating, especially to hear a female athlete that is motivating because so many times we hear of these motivating stories and there are men, but with it being a female, I think it's more relatable to us girls. And so I just love that story because it's, the motto is so true, no excuses. How many times have our girls come up to us with excuses about not being able to practice? And I remind them of this story of Lisa Fernandez because her whole motto and the reason that she was so successful is she had no excuses. And you have to remember Lisa Fernandez was not a six footer. She was a normal sized girl. She was just stout and strong and out practiced everyone. So the moral of her story is try to find ways as a pitcher to make your practices harder, okay, more intense, not necessarily throwing more reps, but pick up the intensity, pretend like you have the hardest batters up to bat, pretend like you have the worst umpire, hardest umpire, pretend like you have the worst field, pitch on the worst field, pick up the worst softball, pitch on the worst pitcher circle where there's a lot of bumps and you don't like the dirt, make yourself uncomfortable because the more uncomfortable you can be and you're setting up those obstacles in front of yourself and you're still finding success, the better pitcher you're going to be. Make your games easy. The harder your practices are, the easier your games are going to be, the better pitcher, more success you're going to have.
please like and subscribe.